Axum just opened up their SDK to the world and I'm blown away. Let's have a look at what happens when you open your technology to the world. DIY Photography's coverage of NAB 2023 is sponsored by Sennheiser, Jiayun, Small Rig, and B&H. I'm here with Alistair at the Axun booth and Alistair, I've been hearing that you're opening the Axun Zemo SDK to the world and I've seen a few apps here. I just wondering this blows my mind. What are some of the things that you can do with it and what is it? So, so I'm a I'm a filmmaker and a cinematographer. So when I first heard about the Axun Simo, it was like really interesting because the initial application was to turn your iPhone or an iPad into a low cost but high quality monitor, and that that in itself is great. But then you start seeing what might be possible when you can get a high quality video image into the Apple ecosystem, into iOS. And we've seen the integration with the Kuto where you can just use the high resolution, super fine tuned screen of the iPhone just as a monitor and, and a viewfinder. But I'm, I understand that you're now taking this to the next level. Yeah, so, so this is a very much a collaborative effort, in fact. So Axoon have developed this device called the CMO and the CMO Pro. So that takes the HDSDI and HDMI, converts it into this feed that goes into the Apple devices. And then they have an SDK that they're offering to third parties to then integrate that stream into other applications. So for our readers that aren't familiar with the acronym SDK, what, what is that? Yeah, so SDK is a software development kit. So it's a set of tools that allows another company to integrate what Axoon are doing in their products. And that's being offered for free. So that means that, as an example that we've got here, that a lighting company can build in the ability to take a video feed from a camera and then do really clever things with it. And there's so much you can do with this. We've had discussions this morning with a company that makes measuring equipment and measuring tools, and they could use this stream to measure, giving people really accurate waveforms and vector scopes on a nice big screen like a tablet, and stuff like that's going to be amazing for DITs and on-set lighting directors. So a lighting director maybe will be able to use this device to measure the waveform but then also control his lights on an iPad so he can wander around inside the set, do his measurements, control the lights, do all of these things and it's a really exciting you know, new ways of thinking, new ways of doing stuff. So the device itself, the CMO, is a $350 unit. It's ridiculously cheap and it, but it's opening up so many possibilities and we're only scratching the surface here at this show. So one thing that I've seen quite, quite a bit around here, and I guess this is where the industry is going, is virtual production, right? So we're seeing uh, an LED wall, yeah. and then, but you also need to have the ambient light. Um, what do you guys have to offer there? Yeah, so I've been doing, over the last couple of years, a lot of stuff with virtual production. And, and one of the absolute keys, and one of the things that really makes virtual production a little bit different, perhaps, to traditional green screen, is this blending of the foreground and background. And if your background is moving, that only really happens seamlessly if the lighting in the foreground changes to match the background. If you're doing a car shot, for example, driving down the road and the car goes under trees, you want the lights in your foreground to match the way the light changes as the car goes under the virtual trees. And how does Zemo handle that? So, so this is where it gets really clever. So this app that we've got here is an app called Chromalink. And this is, manu this is from the lighting manufacturer Prolit. And it allows us to then add a color picker to a live video feed. And then the light follows the pixels that you've picked. So if you're shooting a virtual production, in fact, what we're showing here is what we like to call poor man's virtual production. So we're just using a really big TV screen instead of a big expensive wall. We've got some scenes that look like it's downtown Las Vegas. And then we can pick a part of that scene and then we can make the foreground lights follow the background so it really looks like the person is in downtown Las Vegas because the foreground lighting is changing in time with the background lighting. So just so I understand, uh, so this is Chroma Link, which is obviously prolic, but the fact that the SDK is free will allow other companies like Nanlite, Aperture, Godox, you name it, to, allow, to in, get the same technology into their apps. Am I, is, is, is my understanding correct? Exactly, and this is where this is exciting because um, Axoon are being very open with this SDK. They're not charging people for it. it. It's there to be used. So it does mean Nanlite, it does mean Aperture, it does mean anybody that wants to 
can integrate this, this video stream in their applications. So it's really the sky's the limit with this. And, and there's so many things you can do. I mean, we've got another demo here of a four camera switcher on a tablet. So your outside broadcast becomes something you can put in a laptop bag and take anywhere in the world. And, you know, it's, for me as a filmmaker, this stuff's really exciting because we're, we're pushing the boundaries. We're developing new ways of doing things. And we're, we're creating tools that are really easy to use. There are other companies that have amazing lighting systems for virtual production, and they're stunning, they really are. But you need an engineer to drive it. You, you need this big infrastructure and everything else to support it. But this tool and the way it works is so simple that anybody can do it. And as an independent filmmaker, that's very liberating. So this is a really exciting thing. So you've, you've definitely triggered my interest about switching four cameras. And those are not iPhone cameras, right? Those are real cameras. Uh, let's go and check it out. Sure, let's have a look. Thanks, Alistair. Nick, we saw what you can do with Accent Zemo and uh, a lighting app, and we have to check, I know that going from lighting to switching, two very different domains. Uh, I know Switcher Studio for a while, so tell us what you're doing and how Zemo changed that. Yeah, so Switcher allows you to do multi-camera live editing with iPhones and iPads. Uh, We've been limited to iPhones and iPads as wireless cameras, and now for the first time ever, we can bring in any HDMI source uh, through our partnership with SEMO. So we're able to take uh, your camera, bring it through their converter, and make your camera a wireless transmitter. Uh, and how many cameras can you support using, using this kind of setup? Switcher allows you to do up to nine wireless cameras, and you can mix and match mobile uh, or HDMI. So now I can have, uh, you know, depending on my budget, I can have like two iPhones, one iPad, and I don't know, a Red, or, or, or an FX3, and switch between all of them. It, 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 it's com completely flexible. I mean, here we have got a GoPro today, we've got a Blackmagic camera, we've got a Red SDI camera. Uh, you know, obviously, they're going to look a bit different, so you'll want to think about you know, consistency but it really opens up a lot of possibilities. And uh, we're having so much fun in building Switcher, building the team, improving the product. We started as just an app for recording and live streaming nearly a decade ago, and now we've been able to expand that to be an entire all-in-one platform. We also have a video hosting and a video player you can put on your website, monetization tools, uh, Shopify integration, uh, cloud services. Like it, It's really become something where you can you know, from, from the before, during, and after, how you set up and create and publish, really solving for that entire workflow. That, that sounds amazing. So that means that I can have an entire studio with whatever cameras I want, but have the switching part of it limit to one iPad and, and three tiny Zemos and, you know, just carry that in a small case, right? Yeah, I mean, this is a four or five camera setup and we're running everything right from an iPad. So there's very little hardware involved. It's incredibly portable. Uh, and incredibly flexible, it's limitless possibilities. So talk to you about uh, resolution and frame rates. What are we looking at here? Sure, let's get into the nerdy stuff. Uh, so Switcher, you can record up to 4K video if you're using iPhones and iPads within our software. Uh, we have a special feature called Director Mode that effectively gives you an ISO from every angle that's available for post-production. Uh, if you're using SEMO, the hardware, the devices do cap at 1080p uh, at about 30 uh, megabytes on the bitrate. Uh, with Switcher 4K, you can do up to 50. You can live stream at any quality. Uh, so if you need to go lower in order to make sure that it's real time and your audience can interact, uh, you've got the flexibility to have a full quality recording that's available for post-production. And I understand that there is an SDI version coming. Uh, tell me a little bit about that. Yeah, so SEMO has, uh, has announced the SEMO Pro. It'll be available May, June at around 350 US dollars. Uh, it accepts HDMI and SDI. Uh, it has a DC power adapter, so you don't have to rely on the Sony battery. And it will also pass through power to charge your mobile device. So uh, very excited to see that come to market. Uh, they're actually showing off one here today, so if you want to get some B-roll, um, we'll be talking more about it. Very, very excited. Okay, so if I want to get uh, Switcher Studio and test the setup, where do I find you? Yeah, go to switcherstudio.com. There's a 14-day trial where you can give it a go. And uh, from there, plans start at $50 a month. Uh, if you want more, we've got more. <laughs>
thank you so much for showing us this. I'm blown away about how tiny this setup is and what can happen when you democratize your software and give it to the community. Uh, we're going to keep walking the floor, giving you more news and gear reviews. Stay tuned, Udi Tirosh, NAB 2023, DIYphotography.net. <music>